Hey everybody, God bless you. Brother Brian here. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you a prophetic word from Prophetess Amanda Grace that is dated July 11th, 2022. Today for, for uh, context here is July 27th, 2022. All right, this prophetic word is called The Curtain is Pulled. Now, she received this word approximately at 7.30 a.m. Um, it is quite certain that I will have to use a, a code, speaking code, wherever necessary. So please just understand that. As always, you can read her prophetic words on Amanda Grace, the number four, him.blogspot.com. And that will be in the description as usual. Amen. That way you can check out the words for yourselves. Father in heaven, we thank you for being in control in our lives, Father, when we give control over to you. I invite you now, Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, to flow freely, and may everything that is a part of you, Father, healing, restoration, wholeness, deliverance, peace, joy, love, everything, Father, that you are and that is found in your glory and in the very presence of you and your Spirit, Lord. May all of that be present now, for we ask for this, we receive it, and we reject everything that is not of you in Jesus' name, and we will not accept nor receive it from the enemy. We renounce the lies of the enemy, and we receive, claim, and take for ourselves the truth which is in Christ, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the blood of the Lamb. Amen and amen. All right. This word begins, <clears throat> and it reads, The dragon has ventured out. The dragon has taken a trip, a short trip, to entice another nation that has been in the background but now will come to the forefront. For the dragon has offered up a very tempting offer before such a country that is in limbo, says the Lord. Praise be to Almighty God, Wonderful Counselor, the Lion of Judah. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, who sits on the highest throne of grace, and to his kingdom there is no end. <coughs> and says the Spirit of the Lord this day, Greenland watch for it has been quiet quiet for a time it has been moving about in the background in the shadows however shall emerge in the shuffling of nations that is occurring in the world says the lord and says the spirit of the lord this day lions and tigers and bears oh you who thinks that's in all caps you are the great and powerful Oz, but you are a coward hiding behind the curtain of those who are speaking forth the lines they have been given for such a time. A small dog, the unexpected, pulled that curtain back. And the Lord says this day, the most unexpected shall indeed pull your curtain back in this season. And the Lord says this day, or rather, shall indeed pull back, pull your curtain back in this season, and who you really are in all of your patheticness. And smoke and mirrors shall indeed emerge before the people on a world stage. For this has been an elaborate play, says the Lord. An elaborate act with each assigned to juggle a role and their talking points. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, my eyes wander to and fro across the earth, for the earth is indeed my footstool, says the Lord of hosts, and the enemy cannot attempt to take it and use it as an ottoman to put his dirty, sniveling feet upon, for those mud marks he has attempted to leave are being washed away, says the Lord of hosts. Wow. And says <clears throat> the Spirit of the Lord this day, in this season, 
Yes, leaders shall come down as dominoes. For they are all connected, and when one, watch the timing, says the Lord, steps down. It is a signal for the others to abandon their posts because the bottom of their foundation is about to fall out, says the Lord. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, uh, since I just read that, let me share with you all what I shared on my Telegram channel that someone sent, uh, that someone copied as a comment on my YouTube channel. I want to share it because it is a list of leaders that have stepped down. So this will be very helpful to us since we just read something about that. Amen. So uh, thanks to YouTube username Dana. And that's all that is written there. She says, the list is growing. All right, so for the first one on the list, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson steps down. Japan Sinzo Abe dies in hospital after giving campaign speech. Sri Lanka President Godabaya Rajapaska flees to Singapore and emails his resignation. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi resigns. India new president Draudati Murmu, first tribal woman president. Iran new president Ebrahim Raisi. Israel Prime Minister Naftali Bennett steps down. Estonia Prime Minister Kaja Kalas resigns. South Korea new president Jun Suk Jul. So anyway, I'm just reading uh, word for word what this saint has um, left for us in terms of information of those who have stepped down or whatnot. So I figured that would be fitting for now. Amen. And that is as of today that, that I saw that comment. All right. So <clears throat> let me make sure I got my place here, the right place. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, a tale of two cities, which says Watch, says the Lord, my people need to stop chasing and following snakes down rabbit holes, for that is where the snake devours, says the Lord. Stop following them, says the Lord. Stop allowing those dull, those to dull your sense of me and who I am, for they are attempting to dim the lights in many of you that are meant to be blinding the enemy, blinding to the enemy in this moment, in this season. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, the Great Barrier Reef, watch that area to be stirred up, says the Lord of Hosts. Okay, so briefly, uh, before I go on, I feel the Lord wants me to mention, because of the previous thing we just read, regarding stop chasing and following snakes down rabbit holes. Okay, now, what comes up to mind is... And it may mean several different things, but one thing I feel like the Lord wants me to say is don't just start going down that trail of conspiracy theories. I understand many, um, many people may be, you know, they have telegram channels regarding military intel and all this stuff. <coughs> you need to be very careful with all this stuff, because even with people who have channels and YouTube channels like that, and they're trying to, you know, predict the timing. They're trying to understand with a carnal mind and a fleshly mentality things that are spiritual because what God does is spiritual. Though it manifests in the natural, the very core of it is spiritual. God is the one who's in charge. His ways, <laughs> his mind, the plans, the, the will of God is spiritual. So it doesn't matter, yet, you know, if you have all these things that you're listening to the military and you think everything's going to be, you know, just as they say, well, the Lord is doing cov uh, covert operations. So if it is covert, why would it be out there what God is going to do? <coughs> Point is, you need to, number one, trust God above all of this. Number two, you need to be listening to his prophets who have been right on several several prophecies 
And therefore, in the midst of that, even they have said, only God knows when he's going to do what he's going to do. Now back to this word, which says, stop chasing and following down snakes, down rabbit holes. Because what happens is you're allowing them to dull the sense. You're taking your focus off of God and you're putting your focus on what these people who may have good intentions, but are not spirit, Holy Spirit led. If they were Holy Spirit led, they wouldn't be putting so much emphasis on the natural. All right. Now I'm not putting any of them down. They can do what they want. All I am saying is that for a time and a season, about two years back, I was paying a little bit too much attention to that. And the Lord pulled me away <coughs> gently. And he helped me to realize that though this is going on over here, my focus needs to be on him and what he's saying through his prophets, what he's saying to me and Therefore, the spiritual, because the spiritual will always supersede the natural. The supernatural is above the natural. So if you are mature enough and you can handle uh, listening or reading some of these things and yet it not affect you because your true trust and roots go down into Christ and what God is doing, <coughs> then that is different. But that is between you and God. OK, uh, many, many people have will have their faith shaken because they focus too much on the worldly stuff. They're thinking, oh, what's going to happen with. Uh, food shortages and you gotta pack and you gotta have all the stuff and you need to know how to survive in case the power goes out for however long and what what is all this fear anxiety you get nervous and all of a sudden you start trusting in yourself and your abilities rather than what god said and he said he would provide regardless that doesn't mean you cannot prepare it means don't focus on that focus on this what god is saying and how he's leading you because no amount of preparation is going to be <coughs> more important. It is no replacement for you over here growing your faith and your trust in God. You can have none of this, but if this over here is strong, you'll make it. You can have all of this and know everything that's happening in the natural, but you didn't feed your spirit and your faith is not strong. None of this is going to really help you in terms of your soul in terms of your spiritual relationship with God. So this is important to speak. So didn't know how that was going to come out, but I believe the Lord wanted me to emphasize that. So that is that. All right, back to the word. <clears throat> and says the spirit of the Lord this day, a changing of the pull of the poles, says the Lord, a shift that will baffle science for much is shifting in the earth and being repositioned for what is about to take place. What the enemy so convinced many to do, how he manipulated and coiled and caused the people of their own will to err as an act of their will, will they shall now make a turn and face that enemy head on, says the Lord of hosts, including in South America, where leadership will fall after a battle ensues and there is a complete upheaval and tilling of the soil and breaking up the ground. <coughs> <coughs> For their ground, their battleground has become dry. It has become a wilderness. And the time has come to tear up what they have grown, and the briars, and thorns, and weeds, and poisonous plants they have so grown in the wilderness. The time has come to expose such and break up the soil and tear up a st in strategic cities in South America. The leadership that has attempted to insulate themselves in order to stay in power. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, the northern part of Canada, watch for an uncanny event, for unusual events and occurrences out of Canada <coughs> shall cause the landscape, the legal scape of the nation to change. As I, the Lord, deliver the pastors from the lion's den, that jealous, wicked leadership so threw them into. You know, and we, we have a prophecy fulfilled because... Um, the pastor, I'm trying to think of his name. I know many of you know him. That the, the pastor who has been arrested several times, he recently was released and the courts ruled in his favor. 
that it was illegal what they did to him. Ah, the name is on the tip of my tongue. <clears throat> Arthur. Arthur Pulowski, I believe it is. It is just, just coming to me in pieces. I kept seeing paw, paw, paw. Pulowski, I think that's, that's correct. So, um, praise God. That has been fulfilled already. I did share that on my Telegram channel just um, a few days ago. So, <clears throat> once again, if you do join my free Telegram channel, because the link is down in the description below, I can share such things like this. I may not always be able to have it to show it to you on a YouTube channel, on a YouTube video, but you do get more uh, inside stuff, spiritual things and spiritually based that I share on the Telegram channel. So hopefully you will join me there. Amen. It's completely free. All right. So the Lord continues and he says, Watch what I do in this season, says the Lord, as I cause judges to be moved in a way that, ne that they never thought they would move. And I, the Lord, shall unlock the prison. that prison, and I shall, in a miraculous sequence of events, deliver those pastors. And I, the Lord, shall nullify those verdicts, and I shall puzzle the leadership as to how this happens. And they shall begin to be weary of touching the shepherds, for the bear will come for them, if they so continue to do so, says the Lord of hosts. Wow. Hallelujah, Lord. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Reverse the current, says the Lord of hosts. Watch that area for a reverse, and it shall be a sign as to what I am doing in that area. For reversal shall cause complete disorder in the enemy's camps and break the bonds and yokes, the yokes of bondage that have been put upon the people from within, says the Lord. An assassination attempt out of Israel from within, says the Lord, as they are attempting to prevent the former from coming to the forefront and taking possession of the seats, says the Lord, as a mutiny in Israel will cause great change and carve the path for the one I, the Lord, have anointed to take that seat. One who is familiar with such, says the Lord of hosts, this is. Day. You know, maybe um, a few of you could put in the description, uh, sorry, in the comments below and just put the definition of mutiny if you wouldn't mind. That would be great for those of us who may not know what it is. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, Hawaii, stop with your idols, says the Lord, for your leadership is under the control of such dark rulers that is bringing this smog of darkness <clears throat> upon your islands. Hawaii, return to me. I warn you this day, O leadership, if you do not turn, there shall not only be eruptions of historic proportion, but explosions that shake the ground. And hotels will fall. They will literally fall. For I am issuing judgment against the lowercase g gods of Hula and what has so defiantly been taught to the people. My God. <clears throat> Did you notice the word explosions there that the Lord just spoke? I remember the Lord, the word he gave me for August is explosive. God forbid that it relate to this. May they repent, Lord. Off the coast of Hawaii is much untapped resources, says the Lord, that shall be found by the ones I lead to it, and it shall be a worldwide news as this comes forth. Wow. Praise God. However, Hawaii is out of alignment and has been for some time and has an O-B-A-M-A, -A. okay, that's number 44, and has a, this person's secretly doing business there still, and secretly using bases and control centers to meet with those who are of a world 
economic status, to plot and scheme as they utilize the false gods to help do their bidding. Do you see? And these false gods, it's demons behind them. So even in the church, the people who love this man, whose initials are B-O and his last name rhymes with Olama, that man is wicked. He is the reason this whole confusion of gender entered the United States because of him. So God have mercy on those people in the church who still, and with all due respect, it's not about race or color, but many in the community, many in the black community, even those a uh, few that I have noticed in the church where I attend, lift up this man like some great thing. No. Not so. Not in God's eyes. We must stop looking at color, stop looking at race, stop looking at ethnicity, especially if, we're, if we call ourselves Christians. The spiritual always supersedes the natural. It's not about male or female. It's not about race or color. I completely understand the horrendous things that have been done regarding slavery against the community. I understand that. But there is no reason that we should exalt someone who is clearly evil in the eyes of the Lord and doing a, things against the Lord and yet we, we and that and yet in the community say you know be so quote unquote proud because he's he was the first you know what black president again not an insult i'm being very careful how i say this i'm saying this very calmly but we must break through is christ more important to us or is pride or is race or is ethnicity it shouldn't even be a question. It shouldn't even be a dilemma. Jesus first. Always. Amen. So this man, <clears throat> even the Lord here, and through many others, has revealed that he is anti the Lord. I'm going to say it like that. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, In this season I shall bring my children who are willing into alignment for they are there are things in their lives that have attempted to bring them out of joint as as the accuser has gone out through weak willing vessels to attempt to personify their own crimes and sins unto you enough says the lord enough yes there will be severings to bring back into alignment your hearts and that burden freed from your lives and spirits we must reset we must reset says the lord of hosts and in the midst of those receiving the wage for their sin and disobedience you shall be promoted and positioned into greater as i pour into you the grace to carry such a heavy and weighty task says the lord of hosts wow and says the lord of hosts i am bringing correction to those who have wavered off and chased things not of me and desired to he has this first letter of this word branch. He has the, the first letter in parentheses. And desire to branch off into things I, the Lord, never told them to do. Those branches are being pruned in this season, says the Lord. The sequoias in California, watch what happens to such as I will. Confirm this word spoken this day through my vessel. A great change is upon you and your nation, O America. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, A house arrest, O house, O Congress, yes, a house arrest indeed is upon you. As your hidden crimes and dealings have dislodged and are now coming to the surface for air, as they will get deals to deliver you to to your captors, says the Lord of Hosts. And says the Lord of Hosts, as countries engage in such a game of risk, I, the Lord, am exposing the back web of nations, changing leadership, for there is a back web, a hidden web, that has been utilized to move resources, communicate, and manipulate such narratives. 
a back web not yet known, but shall become known as certain leaders step down and back down from their loft positions as their Sodoms are being burned up and destroyed and the filth of their decisions cleansed for, from such. For I, the Lord, see the great scramble that is taking place for great panic has hit the enemy's camps. Wow, look at that. And the talking points laced with spells, okay, that's witchcraft, are weakened and no longer working on the people as they have closed their ears to such. Wow, look at that. So the Lord just said, for great panic has hit the enemy's camp. Now, uh, on July 15th, 2022, just about 12 days or so, uh, one, one of the things I woke up hearing in the spirit, there was about three or four things that came up in my spirit that morning. One of those things was a, an immediate knowing that there was panic in the camp of the enemy. And this I shared a couple days ago. Amen. So <clears throat> great confirmation here in that. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the gates are closing. Oh, gates. They are closing indeed. And another shall flee the scene as this occurs. The face is dead. Comma. Meta. Comma. Shall step down, says the Lord of hosts. Sounds like the Lord is talking about Mr. Uh, Zuckerbuck. And yes, I said that name wrong on purpose, okay? I love my children with an everlasting love. I do such to instruct you in the way you should go and to understand what is moving about the earth in this time. Know this day you serve an awesome God, my children. You are precious to me. Draw close to your shepherd in this season. For I, the Lord, will say to you, this is the way, walk ye in it, whenever you turn to the right or to the left. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and rose again and sits at my right hand. Amen. Wow. What a great word, Father. Thank you for this word. <coughs> Well, that was it. I'm going to leave it at that. Feel free to leave your comments, your thoughts, and anything that you learned from this. I know there's a few things the Lord had me speak on as well, and I hope that you receive it with grace and such. Amen. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've enjoyed this. Of course, visit um, Amanda Grace's YouTube channel and all her other platforms as well follow subscribe support her so into her ministry as the lord leads you amen so that's it and if you would like my telegram channel link is down below you can also uh, join me there amen so god bless you and i'll see you in the next word